Queen in the carriage. Ah, and indeed, actually, just emerging at the Abbey as she arrived for the service. How is um, the Queen regarded in the United States? I think that um, I think that uh, the fact that she has is so beloved means a lot to the American people. The fact that she's been true to the American people uh, to to British people um, resonates. Uh, people here, I think, people in America really sort of regard her well. Um, I don't know if they know as much about her. Uh, as, as you do here, but um, I think that she wore a beautiful colour today and I think the American people probably appreciated that. What's, um, got, um, what's got you guys buzzing in your studio just up the way? Um, I think how well it's been pulled off, most of all. Um, how beautiful the ceremony was. Um, people are talking about uh, her dress, of course, that's the big thing, and how much it looked like maybe it was inspired by Grace Kelly's dress. By the way, you were talking about Twitter earlier, and I noticed that one of the, for a while, the top trending tweet uh, hash mark was proud to be British, uh, which, which, is a, which is a nice thing. And I suppose, really, from an American perspective, this is a young woman living the dream, isn't it? This is a woman from, um, in, in royal terms, a more straightforward, more ordinary background, and she marries a prince. I mean, that is sort of classic. American exactly. dreams. Well, you know stuff. the thing about it is that you know women in America, girls in America, learn this story, this dream of marrying a prince when they're really helpless. I mean, they're two <laughs> or three or four years old when they read these stories, and so we're all sort. Of, I don't know if that's also true here in Britain, but the, we are all sort of vulnerable to this idea that that a girl can come from nowhere and and really work on herself to become spectacular as Kate clearly has, and can have the opportunity to to have a life and and to, uh, that that now you know princess catherine will have um, and so that really is a dream come true what about the the father of the groom the prince of wales and his wife the duchess of cornwall um, here they are arriving at uh, at the abbey what to, what do you make of charles and camilla well i think that uh, people in america cared a lot as you mentioned earlier about diana uh, and they admired her willingness to um, um, take on projects like AIDS uh, and, and to, to her work as a humanitarian was very, very powerful and meaningful, I think, to people in America. People in America wept when she died. And so I think it maybe has not always been easy for everyone to fully accept um, Camilla. And, and, uh, but but I, think that, I think most Americans have sort of come around, just as I think people here in Britain have. What's this going to do for, um, for Great Britain in America? Mm. Well, there's a great love affair today for Britain. Uh, I think that um, there is also a great admiration in America today for Britain and what you've been able to pull off. And I think, um, I mean, I'm not going to go so far as to say that uh, the American people wish they had a, a monarchy, but I will say that um, I think American people can see the value of it. And it's worth pointing out, of course, President Obama due here in just a matter of weeks' time, when that focus will again be on the, the monarch standing alongside the President of America. It'll be another moment, I suppose, the US networks will be covering that at every move, every detail. It'll be another moment, I suppose, when that uh, special relationship exactly comes right. under that. It's interesting, you know, again. for a wedding to be kind of almost the scene setter, the, the chapter changer for a country that is uh, emerging into deeper, a deeper relationship now between uh, your Prime Minister Cameron and, and, and President Obama. And so it's, it's a, it, the timing is very interesting. Um, also, also um, you know, we, I know that the Queen's, um, what is it, the, the 60th Jubilee? Yeah. Help me, because I'm sorry, I'm an idiot about that. I know you have other major, next, yeah. right, that's right, big events coming up. Um, and, uh, and, and also, you know, who knows, there may be another wedding. We saw a lot of tiaras out there coming towards you. And in fact, one was worn <laughs> by a girl, a beautiful girl, who held up a sign saying, marry me, Harry. So, <laughs> yes, oh, yes, there is a certain shifting of the spotlight now. It has to be so. <laughs> Are you going to get to party? I mean, you, you're doing your I TV have more work to do. Have but, you I, been... but I will say this, this is the most civilized uh, situation I've been in oh, uh, on television. Thank you so much for a chance to sit down. It's oh, well, it's been a great pleasure, pleasure to have you here. Thank you so nice much to meet you both. Thank Thank you. Nice you. to meet you. And good luck with the rest of the work. Thank you. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go now to uh, Matt Smith, who is at St Andrews. Thank you very much, Phil. Sun still shining, brass band still pumping. And where there's a camera, there's a crowd. In this case, a crowd of children, which is fantastic. It is a day for people of all ages, Britons of all ages. There's some kids here that have been lapping up the ice cream and have made all manner of outfits. There's two girls here, if we can just find them. 
who've got the most tremendous hats on. I think that you two are sisters, I think, is that right? She two. Three sisters. Okay, and did you make these hats yourself? With Granny's help. Yeah. With Granny's help. Well, Granny's always good to help with a hat. And, and how long did it take to make these hats? Um, most of the day. Most of the day. And what are all your three names? Emma. Emma. Laura. Laura. Julia. And Julia. Have you had a nice day? Yes. Did you like Kate's dress? Yes. How about your shirt when you donate it? Thank you very much. Let's move on down because we, if you were with us earlier, we're with Sam, who's made all these extraordinary cupcakes. I don't know how much you saw of that earlier. Sadly, you lost us for a moment, but there's been a massive amount of personal effort gone into the making of all things, whether they be hats, cupcakes, ice creams. The only flavour that had sold out a few minutes ago is um, Passion Pear William, which I think they're hoping to get a bit more of. William's Pear um, had gone, but I, I think they're trying to get some more out of the, uh, the freezer. Let's get a word with some people over here, if we can just fight our way through the bank of kids, because there's some beautifully dressed